Hello everyone, there have been hundreds of Sonic the Hedgehog games, yet very few spin-offs of the best characters in the series. The big question is, are there any good spin-offs, and what characters deserve their own spin-off game? And if you love Sonic, subscribe right now. Knuckles got Knuckles Chaotix, Tails had three spin-offs, including Tails Sky Patrol. The best and most well-known spin-off we got was the Shadow the Hedgehog game in 2005. So who's next? Well, that answer has to be a Silver the Hedgehog and Blaze the Cat spin-off game. Silver the Hedgehog is one of the most interesting and popular characters in the Sonic series. Unfortunately, he seems to only have minor roles in the Sonic series. Obviously, he was in Sonic 2006, but after that, he only appeared briefly in Sonic and the Black Knight as a boss battle in Sonic Generations, and a minor role in Sonic Forces. And yes, he is in Sonic IDW comics, but they are not nearly as popular as Sonic games. Sonic 2006 and Sonic Forces are known by the Sonic community for being very bad games, so it hurts Silver without anyone even understanding his character. After Sonic, Shadow, Tails, and Knuckles, Silver is the fifth most popular character in the Sonic series. One of the biggest reasons everyone wants a Silver the Hedgehog game is not just to highlight the character, but also give Silver a redemption arc that he deserves. Silver has a lot of capabilities and powers that are underutilized because he has been in so few Sonic games. So the big question is how can you do it? It would be a mainline Sonic game but bridge the gap off into its own territory like the Shadow the Hedgehog game. I actually feel that the Shadow the Hedgehog game is a really good concept to use because it continues the story of Sonic Adventure 2 while also providing backstory of Shadow the Hedgehog like a prequel and a sequel in one game. For the Silver the Hedgehog game I suggest this story with Silver returning to 200 years in the future after the events of Sonic 2006. It's soon discovered that Dr. Eggman found a way to harness Silver's energy and power, and time traveled himself to a point before they return. He then uses the Chaos Emeralds to create an invincible Super Neo Metal Sonic. Silver learns from his childhood that there are seven time stones that can be collected so he can become Super Silver as an alternative because Dr. Eggman has the seven Chaos Emeralds. They must first go to Blaze's Soul Dimension to get a compass that will lead them to the Time Stone. This allows us to get a better backstory on the origins of both Silver the Hedgehog and Blaze the Cat. After that, they time travel to seven points in time from early Sonic games where Sonic helps them find the Time Stones. Super Silver still is not enough, so he has to get Sonic and Shadow and bring them to the future. Only then, when Sonic, Shadow, and Silver are all in Super, they are able to beat Super Neo Metal Sonic. The game would end with Silver and Blaze moving to the present time so they can continue to be best friends with Sonic. This also keeps the series canon so that Silver is existing in the modern day when the events of Sonic Forces happen. As for the gameplay style, it should have some concepts from Sonic 2006, but I feel like his powers were underutilized in that game. I want this to feel like a Silver the Hedgehog game and not a Sonic the Hedgehog game. Silver does not rely on speed, but rather his telekinesis abilities. Silver should fight similar to how he did in Sonic 2006, such as throwing objects around. He needs Air Slash's ability from Sonic Generations and more flying ability. Because he is a hedgehog, I would also give him Sonic's homing attack ability, and time travel and teleportation should also be part of the level designs. Some levels where Blaze is playable, I want her to have speed being a quick running flamethrower, if that makes sense. Much like Shadow the Hedgehog, I do want Sonic to be a playable in some areas, and perhaps Shadow, Knuckles, and Tails could even have very minor roles in the game as well. Obviously, the final boss battle, you should be able to play as Sonic, Shadow, and Silver and easily switch like you do in Sonic Adventure 2. In conclusion, Silver needs a redemption arc and with how strong Sega is positioned right now, it is the time to make a Silver the Hedgehog game. Obviously, the odds of a Silver the Hedgehog game ever being released is extremely low, but look on the bright side of things. The P-06 fan-made version of Sonic 2006 is a big improvement. He is still active in the IDW comics. There's also some hope that Silver may have his own movie in a potential Sonic the Hedgehog 4 and most likely he will be in a future Sonic the Hedgehog game. That's gonna do it for this video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and remember, you gotta go fast!